Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Big Time Talkers. I'm Brock Gorton. I'm Casey Shear. And there's still no Tommy. He's a coward and a chicken, and he's gone forever. Macy and I will be doing the podcast from now on together, and what the hell. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Oh, you... What the hell? <laughs> what did you say? What? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? You want to say that again? You want to say that again? You yeah. Wanna, you want to say, I'll it, to say my face? it again? Huh? You're huh? a bitch and a coward, huh? And I'll fight you huh? right now. Huh? Let's go! Go! It's what I thought. Like I said, Tommy is still not here. He just got his butt whipped. No, he's here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm back. <sighs> Somehow, he has returned from New Orleans. I picked him up from the airport. You That's how. Up there, both of you. Yeah, we both picked him up from you the both airport. Were there. From the dead. <sighs> Hello, I'm Tommy Haley. I'm back from the dead. <laughs> I'm known, <laughs> as, known as New Orleans, Louisiana. What's funny was I wanted to do the Undertaker theme, but then I don't want a copyright strike on this. Yeah, so. this was probably the best choice, honestly. Makes me want to go to sleep. Well, all right then. Music with me. Yeah, like classical music as a kid, I used to like listen to it and then number fall nine asleep. in E minor wants to make you fall asleep. Yes, makes me want to fight an armada, and like me, only me and Tommy are the only. Makes crew. you want to turn into a large British man uh, or Austrian. Yeah, large Austrian man. Anyway, as we said, Tommy Haley is back. I'm back. Wow. How was everybody's Thanksgivings? Awesome. Eh, could have been better. <laughs> How are your Thanksgivings? Yeah, you had more than one. You had more than you. You had, I had three. You, ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Too much family time. Would you like to do story time uh, with the family? Literally, long nothing. story short time. Um, first Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving itself. I mean, it was my grandmother and my uncle, along with the four of us, plus the British person that was evading. Foreign exchange student. Yeah, who invaded the house for Thanksgiving. Yeah, Uh, that went well. I mean, it was about normal. Um, Was she pretty? No. Oh, (laughs) damn. She's my sister's friend, so no. Uh, Thanksgiving up at my grandfather's house, that was something else. Because we watched Hee Haw. Uh, Not familiar. Uh, Rodham Cowboy? What? Hee Haw Rodham Cowboy? No. <laughs> Hee Haw? Hee Haw was a country uh, comedy music variety show. I had a good Thanksgiving. I'm not done yet. Okay, well, we had to go up, to so my... I can, so I could tell my stuff. Then we went to my dad's side of the family, which we Zoomed with all the other members of the oh, family. Yeah, I saw that. I, yeah. yeah, you, you no. sent that to me on Snapchat, which I was like... He's God, like, Brock. I was me. like, Brock and Elena had to had a point. By the way, I intentionally misspelled your. That's how I said you're welcome. Bro, oh, she was about to kill you, <laughs> dude. For I what? I accidentally I misspelled Elena the first time, and then I said, "What did I say after that? You're welcome." Yeah. Uh, uh, enchilada or something I like don't that. Know. Enchilada. But she was just like, I will kill you. I will fight you. Dude, I know dude, where you live. Dude, I'm like, damn, when, Elena. Dude, when I said that, I just fuck, I just started just, just laughing. Laughing. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. So here's my experience at Thanksgiving. The Sunday I'm leaving was... Just- Everyone died. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks, no, 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 Tommy. Hold on, Macy. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You, ever seen that, you ever seen that, like, progressive commercial? Yes! You were talking to me about that. With, like, the, with the, when, like... Don't be your parents at the airport air, At the yeah. airport. Yeah. yeah, I had that flight. I'm not excluding my grandma. There were, like, six other people, like, six or seven other people in wheelchairs for this flight. Going to New Orleans. Other than that, the flight was fine and everything. I got front row, which was awesome. Which is, like, perfect. The plane ride back, however... <laughs> <coughs> so, New Orleans is 
uh, synonymous oh. for only having like a couple of lanes of TSA open. Like usually, like at least three is the max. Ew. Yeah, I know, right? Tell me about it. This time they had like five or six lanes open for TSA, which was like heaven. Which was like heaven in like almost like heresy to think, brother. So anyway, I get through TSA quickly. I get they have a Chick Fil A there in the airport, so I got some Chick Fil A there. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. What? Yeah. Airports have Chick Fil A. Yeah, this airport. Yeah, <sighs> New Orleans International Airport has a Chick Fil A in it. In the terminal, several do. Oh. I think KCA might. I think terminal we're. I think. C. In terminal where? Terminal, terminal C. Terminal C has it, not Terminal B. I don't know. Yeah, and Terminal B is like the most used one too. Well, isn't it? currently yes, because that's the Southwest. Terminal. Well, technically C, because all the other airlines are... All the internationals. All the internationals. Inter- ne- quote, unquote, international. The only ones that fly from Terminal B, I believe, are Southwest, Delta, and I think Alaska. No, Alaska's C. No, oh. Alaska. I thought Alaska's B. No, because Alaska's the only domestic flight that travels out of C. I'm pretty uh, sure Alaska is talk. Terminal B. Pretty sure By the way, I digress. C. So I get my Chick-fil-A at uh, New Orleans' airport and all that. Mm. Got all my stuff and enjoyed it. So this is like one thirty. Like I got there very early because I was stu- there was one time I was stuck in TSA for like an okay. hour. Okay. okay. I was stuck in TSA down in New Orleans for like an hour. Did so they have to like it search was, you? No, they didn't search me. It's just they only had like three lanes open, and like it sucked. It sucked. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Have you seen this man? He poses literally the least threat, threat to <laughs> society. Out of anyone probably in that airport, the old women in wheelchairs posed more of a threat. Oh, yeah. Speaking of TSA, old people, like, it was nice to know that my grandma was literally could just sit in her wheelchair and just go through TSA like it's nothing. That's nice. They literally just told her, all right, sit up sit up front. Uh, let me check your shoes and all that. Like, they, she made, they made her take off her shoes for some reason. I don't know why. Shoe bombs. I don't, know why, I don't know why, but they she might like, have a shank But she was there. fine. She was clean and everything. They, they were clean and everything. <laughs> she was clean. Oh, I'm good to hear. That's good to hear. What, I don't know. what else did I say? She oh. was fine. So either way, the flight coming here to Kansas City. Yes. I'm sitting at Over the... Over under. At the, how I'm, many old people? Uh, yes. Over <laughs> under. How many children? Yes. <laughs> So so I'm so I get out. so I get to the gate with my chick with like my stuff from Ch- the Chick Fil A in the airport at like he's really proud of this Chick Fil A like, man dude, it's awesome they're like they're like clock they're like clockwork they're like clockwork here too yeah I know so anyway I'm sitting at the gate where my where we're supposed to be boarding the plane it's like one thirty so like I'm sitting there eating I'm done with the stuff I throw all this stuff away I see this old couple literally like pull up. In two wheelchairs, like I st- like straight, just back like to back? pull up. No, like side by side. Oh lord! Side by side, pulled up to the gate, and everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did they have paper tickets or were they on their phones? Now, now, I would like you to think about what you just asked. Well, no, some old people do have it on their phones. The, there was like at least. Two old people that were smart enough to put it on their phones. That's good. Uh, but the rest had paper. The rest had paper. Oh, God. And then one family comes up, and it's like the that kind of family where it's like they have the small little kid that are just nosy as hell, and they're like, hi. They say hi to, like, literally everyone in the like on no, the surface eh, of the planet. Denied. Rejected. You're not getting a hi out of me. Okay. That's ironic. Okay. That's okay. Whatever. Anyway, so it was that. It was that kind of. It was that kind of family. <laughs> I mean, Macy, you've just made a great joke off air <laughs> that and, we will not be and, repeating. And then, and then another family pulls up, and they have like a two, like a like a three year old. Aww. It's not that kind of aw three year old. It's oh, the no. I want to slap this. Got any games I wanna, on your phone? I want to. No, it's not that kind. It's that one oh, that's okay. like. If you set them down while they're standing, odds are, if you look away for one second, they're already somewhere else. Oh, heck no. Nah. And I saw, and guess what? The little kid, I guess her mom wasn't paying attention. So you know how they like, sometimes have the door, like, open for, like, the plane? For, like, the people that are, la- like, like, coming into the, like, the flight that just landed there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Coming into the gate? So they had that door open. I see this little, little like, three-year-old just start walking in. Like, straight, just, like... She's, like, walking, and they're like, stop, stop, stop. She looks at her mom, and then looks at the door. Boom! It's gone. 
That's she how wants you lose attention. Kids. And I went, and I went, oh, 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 oh that kid's no. about to give it. There was like me and fifteen other people. There was like, oh no. <laughs> All right, so if that had been you to your parents, what would have happened? They would have killed me. Yeah. They would have killed. They would have. In front of everyone. They, yes. They would have. Yes. They would have given me an ass whooping like no one else has seen. I would have been. Oh my god! My mom would have scared me. My mom would be like, "What do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna get kidnapped. Oh You're no, gonna my, get shipped off." See, to my mom would have like, been the one. My mom would have been like, "Don't ever do that again," and to make sure you never do that again, it would have handed me off to my dad. They no. would have. They wouldn't. They yeah. would have. They would have. Yeah. Both my parents would have yelled at me, and then my dad would have like. My dad, exactly. my like, dad would have been dis- spanked, spanked my ass into another dimension. My dad would have been disappointed in me, like my biological dad. My stepdad would have let me to my mom. And Dude, if I was the parent that situation, the it's like, like first of all, get the get that like backpack thing that, with the like, leash. With the leash. <laughs> They had like those little arm bracelet things or that something like you that. <laughs> something like something like this, but like something like that to keep your kid restrained. Like, especially, like, a little three-year-old toddler like that. Yeah. Some people don't get them because they feel like it's embarrassing and bad parenting. I, if your kid, if well, you know that your well, kid's going to wander off, well, that is a good investment. Well, to the point, like, also, I also kind of felt bad for that lady because it's like, oh, wow. Oh, and then the second hand was like, lady, get a hold of your fucking kid. <laughs> Anyway, so it was Other fine. Other than that, there. the planes were fine. I had I have uh, the AirPod Pro, so they have noise canceling on it. And luckily oh enough, the family sat in the very, and they sat in the very back of the plane for some reason. Oh, Tommy, 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 flexing how rich he is. I got the AirPod Pros. I actually got them on sale. Yeah, cool. Macy, how was your Thanksgiving? Oh, well, yeah, other than that, Thanksgiving was fine. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, you know me. I dress... Like Did you guys app- get a limo? No. No. <laughs> no. That's freaking Christmas Eve. Yeah. With my bougie little good. family. Okay, we got time on that one. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. Sounds like you got the time. Anyways. Um, time is yours. Yeah. <laughs> time is yours. Um, I dressed it. I dressed it. <laughs> I dressed like the outcast of the family. I wore, like, some combat boots and leggings and a ripped-up sweater, so <laughs> everyone else was just nice. <laughs> I wore my nice boots, my nice jeans, and a polo. On Thanksgiving? Yeah. yeah. You know what I wore? My Nothing. Saints t-shirt and a pair of shorts. Yeah, I know, because your Saints were playing. We'll get it. We'll get to them later. No, they suck. That's all <laughs> you need to know. We'll Anyways. get to them later. They absolutely suck, and Anyways, that's all you need to know. So, like, you know, socialized, talked to my family, like, how are you doing? How's your life? Blah, blah, blah. You know, typical family things. That, <laughs> my know. family didn't ask me anything. Well, I don't see my family that often. Well. Neither did mine. It, my, my dad's side of the family, who we saw Sunday, mm-hmm. they just, or Saturday, whatever it was, they just didn't talk to me. Yeah. They weren't interested, well, and that's fine. They're like, how's work? Do you like your job? Blah, blah, blah. You know, and then I told kind of what yeah. my parents did. And then me. I was like, yeah, I have a boyfriend now. They're like, eh. Of course they were like all blah over that. And I was like, it's just a week old relationship. Calm down. Yeah, it's, like, not, it's not like you've been dating for... Yeah, like calm down. Five months or something. Yeah. Know. Anyways, and then my grandfather uh, was like, can you go get... Can you go get Great Grandma Hubbard? And I'm like, fudge, bro. No. So me and my cousin, ha- me and my cousin that's a year younger than me, had to go get her. And she's like, I don't like the pants you have on. I'm like, thanks, Grandma. And who asked you? <laughs> she's like, your really- grandma said this. Yeah, she's like, I don't like the pants you have on. She's like, you know, when we wore those, we wore uh. Oh, what were they called? I don't know. She's like, we wore pants over those. And that was for speed skating and blah, blah, And just went on this rant. And I'm like, okay, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Let's go, Grandma. Let's get back to the family get-together, you know. Which took forever to freaking get her out of her house. Because she's freaking ancient. As old as dust. <laughs> and so we got back and... Yeah. I really didn't socialize except going outside and... um Chilling, you know? Staying away from your family. Yeah. You love it. Pretty much. So, we will address the elephant in the room from last week. Um, Wait, there's an elephant? Yeah, so, funny thing. So, if you listened to last week's BTT, it might have been a little different. 
<laughs> Just slightly. Oh. So guess what happened? He told me this. What? So you know how we called in? Yeah. So like you know how we called in to like from like Snapchat, which is like we should have just done like a Discord or like group FaceTime the next time. So the so they he did something with the audio files for us and they corrupted so he like we had like no audio from oh, yeah, either. That's so right. the two and a half hour podcast that we did last week didn't air. Thank God I did the interview with my grandpa last week. Yeah, so he talked to his grandpa, and that was pretty much the bulk of that. 57-minute conversation with my grandpa, supplemented the uh, top fives in and our picks, and that was the podcast last week. Again, thank you, grandpa, so much. You came in clutch on that one, honestly. You should say thank you for... To me, since I wrote down the pics and all that. Well, I had those written down and could have figured them out. Well, yeah, I know, I know, but I sent them to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yes, thank you. Also, other news in Beat Card Entertainment. Tommy, um, you were stripped of the Beat Card. Dethroned, mother! <laughs> he was stripped. We'll get to that in a second, Macy. Tommy, you were stripped of the Beat Card title for not... Defending it in 30 days. Comments. Crickets. I hear Something. Crickets. Please, anything, Tommy. He gave me a thumbs up. <clears throat> and new B-card heavyweight champion, Macy Shear. E. Go ahead, gloat. Gloat everything. Go I mean, ahead. I mean, I gloated on my pictures. You can go see those. Yes, go, go. Sorry, see. I look like a naked mole rat, but whatever. Um, Macy won in a game of Mortal Kombat against me. <sighs> Aaron Black let me down. <laughs> I just couldn't. Why did they change his gameplay style from Mortal Kombat ten to eleven? Why didn't you pick Shao Kahn? Mm. Cause no. I wasn't expecting her to go crazy with Sub-Zero like she did. She just did, all right? Also, I have that game on deck, so, like, whenever I want, I can go train on it. <laughs> I did, too, which is why I thought I'd been fine. Yeah. But Macy is your current B-card heavyweight champion. She is very happy about that. Life sucks and then you die. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Tommy is depressed. I am depressed. Tommy will be coming for that title very oh, I'll soon. I'll be back. I will be back. We okay. just don't know how <laughs> you're gonna defend the title next. Oh well. We'll come up with some way. Maybe a Pokemon battle between you two. Pokemon? Did you say it like that? Oh my god! I did what that on you? purpose. 70, what are you, 75? No, I did that on purpose because I wanted to see how you would react. <laughs> and I got the reaction that I wanted. You sounded like a 75-year-old. The Pokemon! <laughs> you you sounded like that Pokemon. pastor. Why? 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 Now it's on to our top five. Uh, I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> It's our top five favorite Thanksgiving foods. Tell me you're going first. Aww. I will go first? Yes. Okay, are we going from... Are, how are we going to do Five to five one. Five same to one. way we okay. always it's, do it's it. always the same. I feel like we should do one to five. No! Five. Okay, whoa. Jesus. Tommy, go first. Uh, some, like, uh, Brussels sprouts with, like, some sautéed bacon in them. So, again, say what it is. Say what this is. Thanksgiving foods. Yeah, top five Thanksgiving foods. Thanksgiving has just passed. What are you, 85? So say it again. Brussels, Brussels sprouts, like some sautéed Brussels sprouts and bacon. Mm-mm. Hmm. Hell You cook no. the bacon first. And no, the same. Well, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. You cook the bacon first, and here's what you do. You cook the bacon, you take the bacon, you let it dry, you cut up the bacon, and then you use the same pan that you use to cook the bacon. So the oil and from use the bacon. The, yeah, yeah, you use the bacon oil from... To flavor it? Yeah. Okay. Dude, it's actually really good. Throw some, bal- throw some balsamic after all of it's done. Oh my god. Yeah, Perfect. I don't know about that one, but I'd still pass on that. Macy, your number five. Mine would be turkey. Only because. Calm down. That is really low. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's only because <sighs> turkey just isn't cooked the same way, no matter where you go, you know? But no, I don't think it's cooked the same. It depends on who cooks it. Yeah. But my reason is for it being too low is because either it's it will be very perfect one way that somebody makes it, like 
frying it or like you said you smoked it i did too I and did you too. smoked it or where they bake it and then it's just bone dry or you're my bougie grandparents and uh, you have it catered to you and it's already sliced up and it's cold Mm, sounds gross. Yeah. You could be an idiot and deep fry it. <laughs> you could be an idiot and We deep did deep fry it last time. My da- my stepdad deep fried it last time. Yeah. It's pretty good. There's something wrong with the deep fried turkey. No. No, but, but he here's the it, difference with his... He had it thawed out, though. Here's so the difference God. between his smoked turkey and the way we smoked our turkey. <laughs> nice. So they have... So my parents have a Traeger. So if you don't know what Traeger is, it's like a, it's like a smoker, and they have like their own special like pellet, like wood oh, pellets okay. that you can like smoke like certain meats and all that, and like vegetables and all that. So they got like these special like turkey blend pellets to smoke the turkey with, and they just use those. Oh, perfect! So good. Your turn, Brock. Uh, my number five is spinach salad. So greens. Well, and bacon. No. It wouldn't and cheese. Te- it wouldn't technically be greens. And yeah, so it's spinach, bacon, mozzarella cheese, and I forget what the um, sauce. Yeah, what type of sauce it is that my grandmother uses? But that's my number five. It's really good. I didn't have salad at mine. It's kind of disappointing. Neither did I. We did. We had lots of it. Neither did I, I ate a lot of it. Neither did I. What? What? I ate a lot of the spinach He's salad. Healthy. Can you not believe that? I believe it. <laughs> well, when we get to my number one, I mean, okay. that'll counteract it when I tell you how much I had of it. <laughs> All right, Tommy, you're number four. Uh, you guys are fine. This weird. Okay. Uh, cranberry sauce. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not gonna find that weird because that is a popular one. Dude, Oceana cranberry sauce. I just don't like slaps. Ugh. Slaps. Put put that on some like buttered rolls. Oh. So oh, I'm so, oh, so good. I'm somewhere in between <laughs> both right, of you. Girl. I'm somewhere in between both of you when it comes to cranberry sauce. Dude, it's I, just, like, I don't it's think just it's stra- disgusting. I don't think it's great. I it's think it's all right. It's just strawberry jam. It's just all. It's all it is. It's all it is. Mm, nah. All right. Well, that one was received poorly by Macy. <laughs> Tommy, I don't think you're gonna win the vote this no, week. I don't think I am. Macy, you're number four. Um. Oh, results from last week. We tied. So, me and Tommy tied. We each had 50% of the vote. So, nothing happens there. Macy, 0%. Apparently, nobody liked <laughs> any of yours. So, Mine would be... You're number four. My mom's... My mom's. Only my mom's. Candy yams. Mm. <laughs> and now Tommy's giving the I'm same big, reaction. I'm not a big yams person. That's fine. I mean, you have to have, like... A, like a, a taste for them, you know. Like not a lot of people like yams. No, nope, me never like yams. Candy yams. Oh, only my mom's candy yams. Anyone else makes them? <laughs> Garbage. All right then. <laughs> uh, my number four is mac and cheese. You gotta have that Thanksgiving gooey, mac gooey and cheese. Goodness, <laughs> that, mac and cheese. That mac and cheese on Thanksgiving. If they put you know breadcrumbs in it or bacon bits or whatever oh. anyone does to it. You, you know, are right, dead right. You know, it's perfect. It, you gotta Bro, do it you'd right. You'd be though. asleep by the the end of the first quarter of the Cowboys game mm-hmm. after you eat a whole thing of mac and cheese. Jokes on you! I was <laughs> same, same. I was. I was I actually, too. I actually didn't fall asleep at all. Thanksgiving. Well, that must be nice. I had an hour drive north, so I fell it's asleep. I literally yeah. walked into my room and then literally laid on my couch and then proceeded to go to uh, go take a nap. Yeah. If I didn't have to work the next day after, I probably would have fell asleep there. But yes, mine is mac and cheese. Tommy, you're number three. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Mmm, interesting placement turkey for that. Turkey gravy. Oh, yes. Tur- there you yes. go. It, but it ha- not just any kind of mashed potatoes and gravy. It has to be turkey gravy with mm. the mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving. Has to be. Mm, any, yes. other, any other kind of gravy? Screw it. Get away. Get away. <laughs> Get away this day. Placement seems a little low to me, but, you know. Mm, yeah, well, guess what too. I put over it? Yeah, I know. Macy, your number three. Mine would be what your number four was. Mac and cheese. I am a fiend for mac and cheese. Oh, did you know Costco made mac and cheese? Yes. Costco has it. It's really good. I had, I actually had, we actually had some for our Thanksgiving. See, like, really I can do store-bought mac and cheese because... Oh, no, how? we do it all from scratch. Well, yeah, but, like... Like, people who, like, prepare it at, like, places and stuff where I have it catered. But that, and it's, co- but it's Costco, though. Yeah. You can't go wrong. You can't. 
You cannot mess up mac and cheese. Oh yeah, you can. Unless there, you're unless I'm, you're somebody who I know who can burn water. I know exactly who you're referring to, and Tommy does as well. The fact that someone burns water is just, just <laughs> is just, the fact astounding. Is, astou- exactly. Ex- astounding. The fact that that person burned water. No, I can kind of believe that that person burned water. <laughs> yeah. Not not a very bright person when it comes to um, cooking skills. Well, that's good considering that who they're with. So, yeah. Brock, you're number three. Uh, my number three is rolls. Rolls, yes. rolls, bro. Homemade oh, rolls, rolls, though. Okay. Yeah. That's what my and my my mom and sister woke up at six a.m. and made from scratch rolls. Did you have it? Did you just have some butter with it? Yes, of course you have butter with it. Mm, I'd have honey butter. Well, I mean, but you ever my, heard of you ever heard of Kerrygold? Yes, I have. The ir- like the yes. Irish butter. That's what we had for our butter. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. my dad put. I don't know why he did this, but on his rolls, he stacked the turkey that we had, the mashed potatoes that we had. Bro, that's a Thanksgiving sandwich. With, you made a Thanksgiving sandwich. No, I'm not done yet. Put the butter on it. Put the top bun on. Okay. Then drizzled it in gravy. Yeah, he made a Thanksgiving sandwich. Yeah, yeah, I mean like a backwards Thanksgiving sandwich, but yeah. Kind of, but... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's what he had. What's wrong with that? Nothing! There's you nothing wrong you with that. Sa- you're saying it like something is wrong with that. Oh, no, what was wrong Because it's a Midwestern what... thing. Other no. people would be like, what? Well, that's not a Midwestern thing, because I literally would do the exact same thing. Well, you're also from, from the, the Midwest. Midwest. Yeah, that's true, but still. Listen, like, also throw like a little, if you I'd to, also throw a little data cream. If you like went to like New York or California or like, oh, they would look at what we do in the like, Midwest and what the they'd, hell? they'd be like, "What's wrong with these people?" <laughs> uh, we eat good, you know. Whatever. Yeah. Tommy, you're number two. Stuffing. Oh my Stuffing gosh. in general. Stuffing. It's not oyster stuffing, is it? No, it's not the okay. oyster stuffing. Just like I, I hate you know, that good old stove top stuffing. <laughs> Macy might kill you after this top five. I hate. Stuffy. What is wrong with stuff? It's just bread. Tommy, you are... I just don't like how it tastes. It's, it's just you've, bread. You've had one that is just the only one that she's agreed with. It's just bread. That's all it is. It's just bread. Okay. Right? Am I, am I wrong? It's just bread. It is. It is, but I don't know. I just don't There's like some it. Like turkey, some, some like turkey gravy on that stuffing too. I oh, so good. I still don't like it. It's oh, nasty. so good. Macy, you're number two. I begged and pleaded that this be at Thanksgiving. And no one was going to bring it until I said something. Deviled eggs. Okay, really? we had those at my Thanksgiving. Deviled eggs. But as your number two? As your number yes! two, though? I only get to cherish them around freaking family stuff, okay? Yeah, fair. I feel, like you not could, like, I feel like it's something you can make. Yeah, I can, easily. but does it look like I want to make them? No. That is a fair point. If you yeah. crave devil eggs, it's like, I don't want anyone to make them. Like, you have a specific family member that makes them Yeah, perfectly. it's like how my mom makes candy dams. I'm not a big deviled eggs fan, but, like, when my mom makes deviled eggs, they're pretty good. Exactly. I don't, I don't really care for s- prepped up store-bought deviled eggs. No. They have to be made by a family member, and those are my number two. Y'all can hate. I don't care. Brock, you're number two. <laughs> you're number two. Wow, that was a promo that was Damn, just cut did, there. Exactly. Jesus. Uh, turkey. Just, just turkey. 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 Smoked. Smoked. Fried. Oven you want baked. some cold catered turkey? Catered. Okay, Cajun maybe, turkey from Popeye's. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, yeah, they did have that. I forgot about that. Definitely not the catered turkey, though. That's gross. Yeah. I know. Trust just me. a second. Just a good old traditional butterball. Oh. oh, it's a good old traditional butterball turkey. But oh, speaking of which, did you you didn't respond to my message that I sent you about? Do you think me and you could eat a round meal together? No, you don't think we could. What Sir's if we brought her three into three men? Yes, I count as two men, and you're a man. I am a woman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the three of us <laughs> no, can no, eat no, a no. round meal. Women can. Women cannot eat this. Women cannot eat it. <laughs> what? Why are you discriminating me like that? It literally says it on the packaging. <gasps> Sexist. Serves three. It's it serves. Jokes on you! I didn't find the Three men. It is protein packed. 
round meal of goodness. We are we are trying that at the apartment. I'm like, do you we know even that know where we can buy those? I will look it up, and you know I what? I feel like that's like a Trader Joe's thing. Almost. That is not. No like hell no. Ab- hell so, no. Absolutely well, okay, not. Okay, that sounds I, like a Costco like. That sounds like a like a, but a like surplus store. But it uh, sounds like a Costco, but like Sunfresh. But n- yes, that I was like Sunfresh. Sounds thing. like a sun a, hun- a hen house maybe. Mm, no, hen house, no hen house is too. Hen house like, is a little too. Have Apple seen, Market maybe. No, no. Do those hen things, do those things like, even? Do Apple usually, Markets even still? Like, oh yeah, South of the River yeah, they do. They do. South of the River. Uh, you go to they're Kansas, everywhere. Go to oh Kansas, yeah, they're, they're in Kansas. Too. Lived in the ghetto for a little bit. Know about them. <laughs> in Kansas, where were you? Wyandotte? Yeah. Oh, crammed wow. at baby. <laughs> That's the only place in Kansas that can be considered ghetto. Casey. <laughs> yes. KCK Wyandotte is the yeah. only place that can be considered yeah. ghetto in Kansas. Yeah. You're Unless right. you're about to try and pull some, well, oh, there's certain parts of Overland Park. No. no. Hell no. They it's bougie. Kansas. They bougie out there, too. All of Johnson County is. Anyway, Tommy, you're number one. Mm, it's a very com- controversial number one. Oh, sweet God. Oh, my God. I'm I, I am holding one. Macy back. No. Currently. Let me go. Let me add him. Uh, I'm going to kill him. Number one. Ham. You know it's a you know it's a controversial topic. I think ham is better than turkey. Ah, my God! No, no! Oh my Dude, God! Dude, give me a honey baked ham and I can destroy that thing. All right, you can let me go. I'm done. I I have let her go, but I am still have an arm in between. What's wrong ham? with ham? What do you mean ham? What? Everyone's gonna hate me. I hate ham. I hate ham. Ham has too much fat on it. Me, I am a picky person. I do not eat fat or grizzle or anything on any of my meat. Uh, y'all too. I no found shit what the you're picky shut as up. Hell. I found what the bed is this week. Picky is. I dip, dip, dip. <laughs> Hush, both of you. I found what the bed is this week. <laughs> what for picks? What? 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 You have to eat turkey. No. What is a meat that you hate? Shalami. No, I actually like it. Bologna. No. Bologna is that poor people stuff. That gets you a long way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. What do you hate? Because she's got to eat ham if she loses. Oh my God, I hate ham. And it's out of both of you. So I'm excluded from it. So if I win, it doesn't matter. It's out of which one of you two finish at the bottom. Hmm. Oh, it's going to be me. No, it won't. <laughs> no, it won't. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to, I'm trying. I am literally Let's trying to. Th- I am trying to think right now. I'm yeah. literally legit trying to think right All now. Right, I'll go with my number one then. Yeah. While Tommy's thinking of what to put on the line to eat, Macy, you're number one. Homemade mashed potatoes and gravy, baby. That's an acceptable spot. Yeah. You know why? Because that's also my number one. I spent. An hour peeling potatoes. What kind? Hold on. What kind of potatoes? Yeah. Like? Golden potatoes. Yes. From where? From where? I don't know. From Idaho? Yeah, I'm guessing. I don't know. Them Idaho golden potatoes. An hour peeling potatoes. You know how many pounds of potatoes I ate for Thanksgiving? Five pounds. Maybe more. <laughs> I ate nothing but mashed potatoes pretty much exclusively for Thanksgiving. Dude, that's like that one that you can go back and be like, yeah, I'm going to have some mashed potatoes, bro. He has to eat at Hardee's if he loses. Do you That's hate fun. Hardee's? I don't hate Hardee's. I've He's never, never been to Hardee's. I've never been to Hardee's. Bro, when I was living in Mexico, it wasn't Hardee's. It was Carl's Jr. Yeah, well, all right, there we go. So that's the bet for this week. Tommy loses. He has to eat Hardee's. Macy loses. She has to eat ham. I'm out of this because, well, these two haven't had a bet against each other. So there you go. You don't like ham? What is wrong with you? And you know what? How about this as well? The title is also on the line between you two. You know what's a funny thing? So they got a honey baked ham. I don't care about. Wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what my dad did with the ham bone? Like they, that's around it. He we gave it to off, the dogs. No, no, no. He did, we did, we did not give it to the dog. So he cut off all the excess meat and all that stuff that was on it, and he put it in all the the stuff for the, like the red beans and rice. Mm. He made it oh so good. It made it a little too sweet though. No, it didn't actually made it fine. Sorry, so, Macy's listening. title reign. Sorry if you're listening to this, Dad. <laughs> Macy's title reign may only last a week now. <laughs> if she loses picks, and Tommy could regain the B card heavyweight championship. 
And if he loses, he has to eat Hardee's, which isn't really a punishment which isn't for really him. really a punishment. So it's come just... up with a bigger punishment for yourself. You can't play Pokemon for a week. What's something that Tommy hates? You've been friends with him for 11 years. Um, yeah, that's true. That was the other thing that happened this week. Me and Tommy realized that we have been friends for half okay. of our lives Dude, now. we're old as hell. <laughs> yeah, we are. Wait, hold on. What, what did y'all have for dessert? Did you have, re- like, just, like, the regular basic, like, pumpkin pie for dessert? Or what, what, did, you ha- what did you guys have for dessert? Uh, Homemade pumpkin pie. pie pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin pie. pie. Just uh, pie. They also got... Uh, Ice cream. Cookies. Che- cheese. They also got a cheesecake. Not just any cheese. Just regular plain old cheesecake. Yeah, we didn't do that. Sensational. My mom made, like, 15 pies. And then so. uh, my grandma made something called, like, chocolate eclair. <gasps> An eclair? Nice. Yeah. Oh, so good. Love it. My clothes. grandma made it. My grandma made it. Oh, it's so good. So good. So hang on. What is something Tommy would hate to do? Hate to do or hate to eat? Hate to eat. There's nothing really I hate that I can... <clears throat> There's nothing I eat that I hate. What would he have to wear? What would I have to wear? Chief's gear. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy has to wear Chiefs gear. Macy has to eat ham. For, for an entire day? Yes. And it would be the Tuesday that we would record next week. I will supply the Chiefs gear. I'm a size large, by the way. Yeah, I know. You'll fit in the XL Mahomes jersey. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want the 2X da- Dor- or Daniel Sorensen jersey? Not really. Exactly. So those are your two options. So that is what is on the line for picks. Tommy must wear a Mahomes jersey all day, and we have to go all out. Day. And we have to go out somewhere Tuesday to do. We're gonna, have to we're go gonna, out we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a hibachi place. Uh, oh. No, we're going to go to IKEA, and then we'll pick her up for the hibachi. And yeah, Tuesday next Tuesday. Why are we going to IKEA? Because you said you wanted to take me to IKEA. So, You've never, never been to said, Ikea? Never been to Ikea. Oh never my been to Ikea. god, that place is like a wonderland in there. Dude, have you been to an Ikea during yeah. like the middle of a snowstorm? No. There was a snowstorm, I believe it was last year. And like, they, like I went with my mom and dad to Ikea. It was the most creepiest and surreal thing I've ever <laughs> had in my life. Like, but you're like, like at home you, and you're not at home. No, 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 no. It's because like you, when you go to Ikea, you see like an ungodly amount of people in there. Oh, yes. There wasn't that many people in this Ikea, in the in the Ikea. It was just, it was, we, it was like something almost out of a horror movie. Or like, a, or, like a, or like S, or like S, or like S, like an SCP thing, you know what I mean? Oh my god, is yeah. it, oh wait, you guys probably haven't seen that. I was gonna say what? where it's like, um, no, I know The Mist, the yes, where they're trapped in the, that <laughs> convenience, convenience store. Trapped in the convenience store. So, let's review our top fives. Tommy, you go first, five to one. Macy, you'll go next, and then I will. To review, I don't know oh, where you right put there, my phone. It's right there. Tommy's an idiot, he just is mad that he might have to wear a home jersey this week. Okay, you have to be, shake hands. Shake hands on it, both of you. You have to eat ham. He has to wear a Mahomes jersey. And, of course, as always, the B-Card Heavyweight Championship will be on the line in this one. All right, to recap my controversial top five. Yeah. The one that Macy wanted to – that pretty much has just sparked the bet between you two. All right, from number five, Brussels sprouts with sautéed in some, like, bacon – with some bacon and, and some Do bacon I have to oil. hold you back again? No. Okay. What's wrong with Brussels sprouts? Wait, 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 you got beef with some Brussels sprouts? I mean, no, because that might actually make it taste better. I put bacon in it. Yeah, fair enough. I'm not a... I put bacon in it. What's I actually kind of like Brussels Nothing. sprouts. Just keep going, damn. They're good for you. Number four, cranberry <laughs> sauce. All right, Grandma. Yeah, they are. Number three, mashed potatoes with turkey gravy. With yes. tur- Specifically yes. turkey gravy. Yes. Yeah. Number two, stuffing. And then number one, Macy's favorite... <laughs> <laughs> Macy, your top five. <clears throat> Turkey. My mom's. Only my mom's. Candy yams. Mac and cheese. And then only my mom's. Doubled eggs. And then mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> and mine are spinach salad, mac and cheese, rolls, turkey, and mashed potatoes. <laughs> wow, you two are something else with that bet now this just took on a whole new meaning 
What? I'm taking this personally. Yeah, you, you are. You can take it personally. I don't give a donkey's butt. No, I'm going like MJ. If, I'm taking this. You know, I'm, I'm going to say, Tommy, if you finish in like the bottom out of all three of us, you may have to wear the jersey and do the chop. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll save that for jersey. another one. Just the jersey. We'll save I'm that for another that. time. Hell no. Anyway, Tommy, baseball has, even though it's the off season, has heated way the hell up. Macy, this is the part where she hey, bounces Brock? out. Hey, yeah. Brock, I have a question. Yeah. Do you like money? I like Yes. Money. Do you like I feel spending... like this is a burn pyramid scheme. <laughs> do, you spend, do you like spending a lot of money? Yes. Do you like giving money to a lot of people? Or a lot more like giving money to, giving a lot of money to a one person? Eh? <laughs> I already do that. It's called the government. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I've broken Tommy. How am, I to follow, how am I supposed to follow that? What I meant to say was, is that a lot of people got paid. And uh, that means they got Yeah, paid. they did. I think I saw... After the one deal that happened, one point one billion dollars had been given out in free agency. So we're over a billion dollars given out in MLB free agency so far. Marcus Simeon signed a seven year deal with the Rangers for about one hundred seventy five million dollars. Oh my Jesus! Uh, Leury Garcia signed a three year deal with Chicago for which Chicago? Uh, White Sox. Yeah, you have to be specific. There's two teams. With the White Sox. Uh, I There's no uh, money, currently. money currently available for that. Um, Eduardo Escobar signed with the Mets for two years, about $26.5 million. That's, <laughs> that's, his guarantee, the, that's a guarantee. Total, yeah, I was about to say, and that's on the low end of what was spent on players. Oh, let's see. Javi Baez, as of this recording today, signed a six-year deal with the Tigers worth about $140 million. <laughs> um, let's see. At the same position as well, Corey Seager, former 2020 World Series MVP of the Dodgers, Signed a 10-year deal with the Texas Rangers worth about... Um, you might want to listen to this number, Macy, as I get to it. Uh, Is it the billion one? Uh, no. No, no, there had, no one has been paid a billion dollars. Um, let me pull up on Twitter real quick because i got to find that. Three... Um, no, no, let me say it. Okay. Let Tommy no. have his moment. Remember, this is over 10 years. This is a 10-year deal. So get ready for this. I'm not ready to know how poor I am. Okay? No. Oh, 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 you're gonna feel poor ten times over. More than ten times. Uh, so his deal was obviously ten years. So he's gonna spend ten years in Arlington. He's gonna spend ten years in Arlington, but he's gonna get a nice hefty three hundred and twenty-five million dollars. Ten years, three hundred and twenty-five million dollars. Brock, how many? How much? How much in millions does he get a year? Thirty-two and a half. He gets yeah. He gets thirty-two and a half million dollars a year. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, it makes he's like, damn, I'm poor. Starling Marte signed a four-year deal with the uh, Mets for seventy-eight million dollars. Avisel Garcia signed with the Marlins for about. $53 million with a $12 million mutual option. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, no, he declined that with the oh. Brewers. I forgot. Hmm, let's see. Cole Calhoun signed with the Texans. The who? Texans. Oh, sorry, the Rangers. Oh. The Texans? That's a wrong league, bud. Let's see. Max Scherzer. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, here's okay. a big one. So Matt Scherzer is 37 years old. So he's one of the older players in the MLB. Okay. But he just still one a, of the best pit, the, he just, the best pitcher. So he just signed, uh, I think a couple of days, uh, November, as of November 29th, signed a three-year $130 million deal. He's with, 37. With the Mets. Uh, Kevin uh, Gussman. Is that Gau- Gossman? Gu- Gaussman? I don't know how Guzman? you Guzman? Guzman. Uh, he signed with the Blue Jays for five years, $110 million. Um, Eduardo... Rodriguez signed a five-year deal with the Detroit Tigers for about $77 million. And it includes an opt-out after his second season. Which is as well as, as well as incentives worth an additional $3 million. Hmm. 
Mm, John Gray signed a four-year deal with Texas. How much is that one worth? A lot. Fifty-six million dollars. <laughs> Former Royals pitcher, now general manager of the Texans or the Texas Rangers, Chris Young is dealing money. See, Stephen Matz signed a four-year deal with the Cardinals. My, we talked about that on the last podcast with my grandpa. Get to the uh, Rays player. Corey Kluber signed a one-year deal with Tampa Bay uh, Rays. Michael Walker signed with the Boston Red Sox. That's actually a very good addition for him. That is a good addition. That actually I is think a good that sign. might that's help a, them a lot. That's a good signing for him. Yeah. Walker's Jose Quintana player. signed a one-year deal with Pittsburgh. Oh, poor Quintana. Verlander signed a one-year deal with uh, the uh, Houston baseball team. The Asterix. Houston baseball team. The Cheaters. Uh, Noah Syndergaard signed a one-year deal with the Halos. The Angels. Worth how much? I forget how much. A lot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Say it on air. Eight. No, wait. $21 million. <gasps> A one year $21 million deal. Yep. For one year. Trinity's worth it, but. <laughs> What was the other one? The, the race player? The race player? That got the 10-year deal? Oh, yeah. <sighs> the uh, one that had Royals fans going, are we going to do this with Bobby Witt? Uh, who was it? Mm, no. Ah, yes. Wander Franco. Is that right? Is that who I it was? I think. Yeah, Wander Franco and the Tampa Bay Rays both got what they wanted in the shortstop worth $182 million over 11 years. God. $182 million over 11 years. That thing is so bad. That thing, him and Cor, uh, Corey Seager's contracts are going to be hella backloaded. Oh, yeah, think? Very backloaded. So basically, all those happened, and there's still not as much as Patrick Mahomes' contract that he signed. The 10 no. Yeah, think about God. The Texas Rangers spent about as much as Patrick Mahomes' contract. This offseason. This offseason alone. Uh, and a quick refresher, uh, the Rangers were last in their division the this Rangers, past year. The Rangers were straight garbage. Garbo. Uh-huh. Garbage. This season. Garbage. Well, then again, they probably did that because they wanted to sign the big players for their new stadium. They are, the new stadium already opened. But you know what I mean, right? Yeah. You get what I mean, right? Anyway, that wraps up MLB talk. They're still Money. Lot. Money is out there, and they're still... A lot of players who haven't signed anywhere. Freddie Freeman hasn't signed anywhere. Trevor Story, Chris Bryant. Jorge Soler. Jorge Soler. Ooh. Zach Grinke, Danny Duffy. Ryan Rizzo. <clears throat> the last three that, you know, Soler, Grinke, Duffy, I would not mind if they came back to Kansas City. No, I feel like Soler would be still would be fine with Atlanta. Yeah. But uh, Grinke and Duffy, <laughs> I would be okay with either one of them. Anyway, Tommy. Money. Money. Speaking of money, college football. Oh yeah, that's um, right. So before First we get of all, into, before before you say anything, before we get into money, before you say anything, football, before you say anything, I'm committed to Oklahoma. You're committing to Oklahoma. I'm committed to Oklahoma. I will not leave this program for a job out west for the Trojans. I will not. I the ne- I will not be the next head coach of the LSU Tigers. I'm not going. Let me, let me make that statement clear. I am not the next head coach of the LSU Tigers. He didn't lie. Instead, I am the next head coach of the USC Trojans. So let's talk about the game that involved that coach that happened this so past before, week. So before 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 we before you decipher that, or if you already decipher that, let's talk about rivalry week. <coughs> the best week in college football. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't watch a single half. I didn't watch the first half of the Bucks Colts game. Sunday, <laughs> because I was so footballed out from Saturday. Yeah. Um, what which game would you like to talk about first? The one that had mag, you know, seismic ramifica- ramifications, or seismic ramifications. Okay, let's start with that one. We're talking Michigan, Ohio State. The game. It's in the snow. It's cold. In the big Cocaine. house. Cocaine. Well. I'm going to have to bleep that out. It's snowing in the big house. Michigan, Ohio State. Two teams that just flat out 
hate each other. And Ohio State got outclassed. And, yeah, that's something I would never thought I'd hear Brock say. So, I'm going to... I'll be honest with you, Michigan straight up bullied Ohio State the entire game. And I mean the entire game. So, I'm going to ask this question to you. Did they score too many points against Michigan State? Who? Ohio State. Did I they score like, too many? I feel like they, it's my, you might have to censor this out, but they kind of blew their wad against Michigan State. I don't have to blew that out. You didn't say anything explicit. Or explicit. They kind of they kind of did, you know, splurge a little against Michigan State. What you're State. saying is they royally... F- Correct. <laughs> okay, and that one I got a bleep. We were doing so well! <laughs> As much as Macy, as much as you have to bleep out Macy's stuff, she's right. They kind of just royally screwed themselves. Hey, he said the f bomb earlier. Yeah, I know. That was the only thing I had to bleep out up until this point. Thanks. We had made it forty-five minutes. Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. Either way, you're. Re- I, I'm it's pretty. It's only sh- two. It could be a lot worse. Yeah, I know. You still have to talk about football later, so. Well, my Chiefs didn't play. They had a bye week. Good. No, but you have other thoughts. Anyway, Tommy, continue. So either way, just, you're right. Michigan, they kind of just, you know, splurged a little too much on... Uh, Michigan State. Michigan State. Ohio State. And when I, got... like, looking at the final score of the Michigan State game, I'm like, that Saturday, I was like, hmm, Interesting. And yet we both still took Ohio State. Yeah, and then we, yeah. Even though something in the back of my head that was said a, Michigan see, might win. See, that was a funny thing when I circled Michigan. I'm like, you know, I feel like looking at the Michigan, like when we were talking about the like our part of the never made part of the podcast is like yeah. when we said both Ohio State. I mean, like Brock. Or, I mean, who are we taking here? Ohio State. And we're like, yeah. I'm like in the back of my mind. I'm like. This is going to royally blow up in our face. And Once you just, said that, I saw the line. I'm like, I think it's going to be closer if Michigan I saw, might I, not win. I was like, mm, this line is so close. It wouldn't surprise me if Michigan... I think I did say something like that, right? I have no idea because the files are corrupted. I couldn't tell you. I just had that gut... You know that gut feeling that was like, Michigan might actually do it. And they did. They did. They Big straight time. Up, they straight up just flat out beat Ohio State. And just flat out beat them. Um, what else happened of note? Um, beyond the the obvious final game we're going to talk about, because I'm going to gloat a little bit about that. Um, Let's see. Uh, Mizzou, we had Mizzou the, lost on, to Arkansas. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Mizzou lost to Arkansas. No surprise. We had the very first overtime game in the Iron Bowl. Ah, yes. Alabama played horribly and still won. I'm going to be honest with you. I felt like the entire game... I was watching a Big Ten game. I was watching the Big Ten. I'm going to be honest with you because my dad sat down and watched the game with me as they went to overtime or fourth quarter. If Bo Nix had been playing, I don't know if Alabama wins that game. I think Auburn wins. Here's here's the play-by-play to start start the game. (laughs) It It goes like this. Auburn punt, Alabama punt, Auburn punt, Alabama punt, Auburn punt, Alabama punt, Auburn punt. Auburn punt, Alabama punt, Auburn punt, Alabama punt. And then we fight it like it took 10 drives of each team, like 10 combined. 10 combined Punt, punting from Auburn and Alabama. And then Auburn finally scored a touchdown, and then I was like, hmm, interesting. It, the halftime score, if I am not mistaken, 10 nothing was 10 nothing Auburn. I thought, in the back of my mind, I was, in the front of my mind, I was like, cool, Auburn might actually do this. In the back of my mind, I was like, hmm, I don't know. In the back of my mind, I was hearing dun, 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 the beginning of Alabama's fight song. In the back of my mind, I'm like, mm, I don't know, Alabama's going to get on the roll. 
And then, like, the Auburn will not be able to stop it. And guess what? Fourth quarter rolls around, and that's exactly what happens. Fourth quarter what's around? Fourth quarter what's around, Tommy? Around the fourth. Roll Tide's around! Yeah, so. Uh. If I'm not. What? Tell me if I'm wrong. Roll Tide! If I, tell, me, tell me if I'm wrong or not. The game tying drive in the fourth quarter solidified Bryce Young winning the Heisman. No, because they shouldn't even have been in that position. If you're that great of a quarterback, you shouldn't have been in that position. Right. To try and tie Auburn. Right, but they were pinned. With a backup. That were also on, pinned on the two. Who is hobbled? They were also pinned on the two-yard line. Doesn't matter. Go watch the newest SEC shorts. Hey, shout out SEC shorts. That yep. video was awesome. Damn right. You they, want sponsors? Go ahead. Uh, I don't think they will. Um, but they did do my Missouri Tigers right when they beat Florida last week. So, Yeah. Anyway. So this also coincides, so so since we're talking about Alabama, well, might as well talk about the top four rankings. Nothing's really changed. What? Except, changed. except for Michigan jumping uh, to number two. And Ohio State. And Ohio State fell, and I mean fell, to uh, number seven. That's all? That's it? Wait, that's it? They only fell to seven? And Texas A&M fell to 25th. What the, what? Well, you what, know. What the hit? Oh, I mean, OU fell to four or fourteenth. That's it. Yeah, they dropped four what spots. The hell? Well, you can see there's still some favoritism towards blue bloods. What are you doing? My belt's poking my oh. belly. So either way, I mean, if I'm not, I mean, honest with you, I feel like Alabama should be the number four ranked team in the playoff. Yes, I get there's favoritism there. Yes, but they looked so. Bad against a, a an Auburn team that was an abysmal Auburn an abysmal team. Auburn team. Who uh, n- again? I will state a barely bowl eligible Auburn team. A, no, 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 again, let me state a, an Auburn team who was playing their backup quarterback who was hobbled, heavily taped up left ankle, and you played horrible against that. Did you see the You were supposed to win the national championship this year. And we can't even trust you to beat Auburn. Like they looked so bad against Auburn. I'm gonna be honest. So bad. I'm gonna be honest, if I'm Alabama, I'm thanking the gods that they didn't play Mizzou this year. The way they played. Mizzou may have looked competent. They need Florida to look good. And Mizzou beat the Breaks out of a Florida. It took Mizzou being Mizzou for Florida to come back. And Mizzou still beat Florida. Think about that for a second. Mm-hmm. Either way. Mizzou may have actually beaten Alabama. Either way, I'm not going to say anything. Nebraska because... looked like they could have beaten Alabama Saturday. I mean, they could have beaten Ohio State, but. Well, they could have beaten a lot of teams this year. They're the best 3 and 9 team I've they're the seen. Best three, they're the best, worst 3 and 8 team in the world. 3 and 9. 12 games. Oh, that's right. Not 11. Hell, we could have beaten Iowa. Yet. <laughs> well, you know. Either but way. Let's get to the nightcap. I'll, I'll let you talk. <clears throat> I know you want to talk about this game. Two. I'll, hold on, Brock. Brock, time is yours. Two months ago, on this very podcast, we were doing our way too early top fours. And on there, I put a team, some teams up there that, well, quite frankly, uh, aged like milk, BYU, Michigan State. But there is no. It aged like an apple pie sitting on the sun for a week. But those are my five and six. Iowa was my number two. Obviously, the wheels came you off put of them. A jinx on that. However, at the same time, I said the winner of the Big Ten championship game, or whoever beats Iowa in the Big Ten championship game. Guess who's in the Big Ten championship game playing? Michigan. Against? Against Iowa. And if Michigan wins, that will come true. I had winner of SEC as my number one seed. I'm sticking by that. I'm, I'm sticking by that as well. You had Bama at number one. Right, but no. But notice how after I said that, I said either Georgia or Alabama. Yes. Said winner of SEC. So, those are my top two. I or Winner of SEC championship, which is going to be Georgia, or Iowa, or whoever they're... Whoever beats them in the Big Ten Championship game, Michigan. My number three was Cincinnati. Look where Cincinnati's at. Prime position for number three. My number four 
was Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma State beat Oklahoma. The trousers. What? The what? Beat the trousers off of them. Oh, the trousers. Okay. Um, Kind of. It was a close game. Last second drive to stop them. Oh, yeah. Fair point. They, Oklahoma still has shot to win the game. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Mullet Jesus Mike Gundy has beaten Oklahoma for the third time in his career and for the second time has won the Big 12 in the regular season. The last time it happened, 2011. Oh my God, has it been that long? What? The last time he won the Big 12 was a year after your Cornhuskers... Left the Big 12. How, has it been that long? Oh my god. What? The last time Mike Gundy won the Big 12 championship, me and Tommy had just become friends. I got it right. I called it two months ago. Tommy, you know how many games that's been in a row that I've called right? Of upsets? Yes, Tony Romo? Three. <laughs> Are you Tony Romo or something? I predicted another upset. Are you Tony Romo? This weekend for the bowl games. You mean championship games? You know what I mean. <laughs> for the championship games. I predicted another one. What was that one? And it's Wake Forest beating Pitt. Doesn't mean they're going to get a playoff spot. No, they won't. I'm fine with that now. But they're still going to win the ACC. If they do that. And you know what that means. Four straight weeks. And then we'll see. You kick Tony Romo out of the CBS booth <laughs> with your crystal ball, with your, with you pondering your orb. Well, listen. And because Oklahoma State and Mike Gundy beat Oklahoma so bad, they forced Oklahoma's coach to go. <laughs> He's committed to Oklahoma. He's not leave. Lincoln Riley is committed to Oklahoma. The Cowboys beat the Sooners so bad. Lincoln Riley is now in <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> so, of course, Brock had to be a dick and spoil it. No, it was a perfect segue for nope. it. No, nope. he got beaten so bad. He knew that his window had closed. He's joining the SEC. He couldn't handle the competition that happens in the Southeastern Conference. He couldn't handle the fact that all but one team in the SEC are bowl eligible right now. He couldn't handle that fact. That's why he ran off to the Pac-12. He'll get beaten the shit out of him by Oregon, Oregon State, with, you know, Washington, Utah, and Arizona State. That's fine. Get out of here. You'll get beaten by UCLA because all the other USC coaches in the last five years have done the same thing had to happen to them. USA's not even bowl eligible this year. Sad state of affairs for that program. Go ahead and run off there with your multi-million dollars. If you don't want to handle, if you can't handle the SEC or the Big 12 for apparently, then get can't the hell out of here. The heat. Get out of the kitchen. It's exactly what he did, like the little bitch he is. Oh wow. Tommy. What now? You ruined my my plan. I was gonna say he was committed to Oklahoma, yet the literally the day after he was committed to USC. You you just ruined it. It's fine. You ruined the whole bit. You ruined the ran whole, off. You ruined the whole. You ruined the whole bit. He ran off because he couldn't handle it. It's not the fact that he couldn't handle it. It's just also the fact that. Hmm. What's another thing? They're not the big. They're them in Texas won't be the biggest fish anymore in the SEC. Yet they'll have to deal with most of the SEC except for Vanderbilt. In my opinion, you're gonna hate what I say. They're, them in Texas are just gonna become Tennessee. Texas will be worse than Tennessee. Texas will be Mississippi State. Texas will be a Tennessee junior since they're no. also orange. Here, I got one for you. But and Oklahoma's it rings true. Oklahoma's just going to be Tennessee red. Texas is going to be Kentucky five years ago. Really? Think so? Barely making any bowl games, and when they did, they only were seven and five. Yeah. Especially in the West. It's Texas. Ever since the poll assassin thing, they've been downhill. Yeah, well, you know. Wouldn't you be down that bad if your stripper girlfriend had a monkey that attacked a child? all right, okay. 
Anyway. You ruined my whole bit. I was going to say he was committed to Oakland. You, I'm pissed off now. You ruined my whole bit. Well, you know what? At least we know that a brand or a man like Brian Kelly can stay by his word and stays committed to a good Catholic organization and a good Catholic program known as Notre Dame and won't go anywhere. And he's gone. And he's gone. Tommy, you're the guy from Louisiana. Have fun with that one. This Brian came Kelly. out. This came out yesterday when I came, like when I, like, as I walked into the into my house, I got the notification saying Brian Kelly is the next head coach at LSU. I literally walked in, got the got the notification on my watch that said LSU is expected to hire Brian Kelly as the next head coach for uh, the Tigers. I was like, what? What? And then he passed out with a taco. No, he was actually up till like eleven. I was up till like eleven. Then I passed out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was thoroughly surprised. As much as I hate to say it, and I know you're going to stop me when I say this, usually people don't leave Notre Dame. They usually retire with Notre Dame, and that's pretty much it. You or they get fired. You, or they get, or they just get fired. You don't leave Notre Dame for a different coaching job. You go to Notre Dame for the coaching job. Because as much as I hate Notre Dame, it's Notre Dame. You got Touchdown Jesus. You got all that history. Newt Rockney and all of that. Tap that sign every Saturday. Tap that sign. Play like a champion today. Newt Rockney, Touchdown Jesus. All of that. The Notre Dame, like prestige. Rudy. The prestige. Rudy. And having your own channel to play. Having your own channel to broadcast your games on no, not not just any nbc yeah it's not having, like you're on having your games on nbc it's not like you're texas and on the longhorn network you have your own major channel that you can play your games on and you decided to leave for lsu granted both lincoln riley and brian kelly are getting blank checkbooks from both the schools <gasps> and i mean a blank check. Yeah, I think we got the Brian Kelly one. So if I'm not we? mistaken, let's find out the Brian Kelly one real quick. I'm also wearing purple in honor of LSU right now. I believe. Going Tigers. Love you, Coach O. If you want to become an assistant at Mizzou, we'll open. We'll welcome you with open arms. <laughs> this is a jokingly say he was going to jokingly go to. Alabama. God no. Brian Kelly, you might need to edit all this, edit all this part out. I will. It is worth a. It is a ten-year deal worth at least nine and a half million dollars annually. So that's a total of. Let's see. Mm-hmm, do the math. What is the math there? A lot of money. Ninety-five million. About ninety-five million dollars for a ten years. Staff. You made one of those cereal straws. Oh, God, I remember those. Those are so good. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> anyway. What, so it looks like. Back on track. Um, so, but Lincoln Riley's, the one about Lincoln Riley's, though, is still, the details are still kind of murky, murky surrounding that. <laughs> but there was some uh, non-blue checkmark um, Twitter profile that kind of, like, they said not confirm the best I could do. He said this. I have the tweet pulled up right now. $110 million. USC is buying both of his homes in Norman for half a million dollars. So it's 500000 each. Over asking, like, and with a $1 million. So I guess this is $1 million bonus. Um, they are also buying him a $6 million home in LA for him. And then uh, unlimited use of a private jet 24-7, 365 for him. For his entire family. Again, this is... Again, this is a non-check mark. Have you clicked on his profile to see what he is exactly? It says Sooner Insider. I don't know what that is. Okay, know. so he reports on Oklahoma. So... Maybe he has that type of insight. I don't, I don't know. The, the, it's still murky. The, the details on him just dashing... No, I didn't. <laughs> skedaddle, skedoodle. <laughs> Either way, it's just kind of murky. 
that literally after the press conference, after losing to Oklahoma, he did State. not lie. He Oklahoma did not State. Uh, Oklahoma State. He did not lie in saying. So I guess one of the reporters asked him, "Are you going to be the next head coach at LSU?" And he said himself, and he didn't lie, and he said it with the straightest face I have ever seen in any head coach show in my lifetime. Said first of all. I am not going to be the next head coach of the, of the LSU Tigers. And he said that dead serious. And then he was like, next question. And I was like, damn. Okay. Well, he's not wrong. He wasn't wrong. Then we find out that Sunday he left for LSU. Or USC. Yeah. Which was like, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, get brought back in. Speaking of Sunday... And coaches that might be leaving soon, even though they're, say, they're committed so to this, somewhere so else. So get this, so, by the way, so with Oklahoma, Bob Stoops is now the interim head coach. Yeah, hell yeah! Which, which, which makes him even more of a legend in uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Su- again, for the Oklahoma Sooners and their fan base. Let's go, Bob! Which I am completely fine with. But there was another coach in the NFL. There's a coach in the NFL who has some uh, natties underneath his belt who uh, sees that uh, job up in West Bend. South Bend. South Bend. And, uh, you know, these Jaguars ain't looking too good this year. Ah, yes. Urban Meyer. Uh, Tommy, how how did his Jaguars do this past Sunday? I don't even know. I don't know. Not good. I don't know. Not, not good. good, my friend. Not good friending? No, they lost uh, 21-14. <laughs> by seven? They only, wait, they only lost by seven? It was against a no-name team. Was it against the Falcons? Possibly, yes. Yes, yes, it was. Why'd you say no-name? Well, because they're not really a threat to anyone. Because um, ever since 28-3, the, the Falcons suck. Mm-hmm. The Falcons have jumped the Saints for the AFC South. Second place. The AFC South? NFC. The Falcons are in second place in the NFC South <laughs> and currently hold a playoff spot. Ugh. Wow. I thought he did Panthers, but okay. We're God, no. Third. The We're in third. Yeah, you're in third. Falcons wow. jumped you. How's no, the field Washington ball? jumped everyone. Well, yeah. That win Monday night. Yeah. Anyway, we'll bring Macy back in. Macy... Your thoughts on this past week in NFL football? Garbage. I guess both of you can say it was garbage since I won last week. I don't Um, care that you won or not. It was just... First of all, you guys were straight dumb to pick against Tom Brady. Just throwing that out there. I picked my team, so... I know you picked your team, which is fine. I can agree with that, but... Macy, I'm going to say one thing and one thing. I'm going to make this thing Shut very... Shut up. I'm make you this... eat Brussels no, no, no. sprouts and stuffing and ham. Shut up. Yeah, and guess what? I fucking enjoy it. <laughs> I'm going to make one thing... I'm going to make one thing very clear, and you're going to have to get the bowhorn ready. Tom Brady is like the house. You don't bet against the house at all. Because guess what? The house always wins. Cowboys game, it didn't. he didn't win because... <laughs> The Cowboys beat the spread. He's got three losses this year. He didn't beat the spread in another game as well that I'm thinking of. So that's five games so far that he hasn't won. Anyway, when it comes to Vegas, know. I just thought this week of football was kind of blah. I think I I was just I was so wrapped up in college football. wrapped up in college football the day before. I was just I just did not care about the NFL slate Sunday Thursday. Was, I mean I watched all the games Thursday. It wasn't great. Actually, I watched two of the games. I watched two and a half of the games. You stopped midway of the I Saints stopped game. midway through the Saints game. It got that bad. Mm. Dude, they straight suck. They suck. They suck. And it also sucks that they need a quarterback in one of the weaker quarterback classes of the draft. No, we went through it. There's plenty of options. I know there's plenty of options, but you know what I mean. You get the point. I guess. You don't want to talk about any other games this Sunday? <sighs> Just what, gonna what other breeze game? through it over it. What, what other game? The Bengals murdering the Steelers. I mean, yeah, they murdered them, but like it wasn't. It just I don't know. I like the, the how the Chargers somehow lost to Denver. To Denver, 
which means which means Sunday night which is means a battle. Sunday night is a battle for first place in the AFC West. Oh my god! What are you smiling for? The Chargers oh. beat y'all early already this year, and the Broncos beat the Chargers. You what do you think they're gonna do to you? I'm gonna come out and beat their asses. Mm. Anyways, and all I've seen on Chiefs Twitter is that stupid clip of Travis Kelsey with that girl who says, "My dad's from Denver. He's a Broncos fan. I hate those guys." Stupid. Stupid. Can we talk about how stupid the? I think it was. Wait, did Green Bay play? Yeah. Yeah. That game was dumb. That game was a boring, dumb game. <laughs> there were a lot the, of points scored against the Rams. Are you? Are, did, did we watch the same game that she That's watched? What I say. I Green gave you Bay guys both picked. Good. I I I, be, I guess you guys both picked LA. So I was still entertained. And I, I was I was so entertained. No, I just, I don't know. Broken toe and all. <laughs> Broken toe and all. You want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your Eagles lost. They're not my Eagles. Oh. Your dad's Eagles lost. How about that? Thirteen uh, also the to fact seven. That, also, the fact that you, that they could have drafted Justin Jefferson. I know you think my dad's not like happy about that. Yet they decided to draft. I don't even. I don't even know his name. I don't know. Not Justin Jefferson. How about that? Someone who's not Justin Jefferson. <laughs> Vikings fans, thank you. Should be given a royalty check. The, the Vikings should be giving a royalty check to you God. every year after that. Damn. And because of that, the Bills should be given the Vikings one for <laughs> Stefan Diggs. Hell yeah. God. Can we talk about how big of a crybaby Odell Beckham is? I think you mean his dad. And Kareem Hunt's dad, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, oh yes, Monday night. Uh, great game. The Baltimore Orioles beat the Cleveland Guardians 16-10. to 10. Oh, Sunday night, sorry. The Did Baltimore you, Orioles on, beat on. the Cleveland Guardians 16 to 10. Tommy, I thought it was a great pitching performance by both teams. They did horrible. Did you hear did you hear what Mike Tirico said after the game was over? No. Harbaugh's two, State of Ohio, nothing. Macy doesn't get it, and that's fine. Because because Jim Harbaugh coaches Michigan. Huh. They, they beat, beat Ohio, Ohio State, State Saturday. Mm-hmm. And John Harbaugh coaches the Ravens, mm-hmm. who beat the Cleveland. Excuse me, Cleveland Browns on Sunday, mm-hmm. which are in Ohio. Mm-hmm. So, the Harbaugh's are two and zero against Ohio this weekend. Mm-hmm. Just this weekend. Everything else, who cares? Harbaugh's one and six now, mm-hmm. or one and five, right? Something like that. Something I like don't that. know. You see his record before that? Yeah. You see his the 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 point differential? It's like a minus twenty. Well, he made up for it. A so. minus twenty point differential in those five games or five or six games against Ohio State. He made up for it, so I also have a question for you, and this pertains to college football. If Harbaugh loses lost that game against Ohio State in the big house, do you think they would have fired him after the season? No, because he still would have had ten wins. But that would have made him 0 six against your main rival in Ohio State. He still would have been another Owen, 10 win I'm going to say that 0-6. 0-6. And you can't beat that team. I don't know. But eh, it's in the past. Though. Anyway, hmm. Macy, hmm. any other thoughts about NFL this past week? Not really. Are you ready to try and best Tommy in picks? I don't care. You don't care? Don't what care. do you mean you don't care? I don't care. Just, I don't know. She might as well just give me the title now. Oh, and she has to eat ham. <coughs> I'd rather go be Satan's mistress than do that. Anywho, I will do it. I will do it. Give me because I gotta rewrite one. <coughs> Whatever, rewrite it, and then I will be the one who announces it because it's basically between you two. I I'm just here this week. You're still gonna participate. Well, obviously I will. <laughs> But, you know. So, again, this is what's at stake for picks this week. If Macy wins, Tommy has to wear a Patrick Mahomes jersey. Oh, I did write it down. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good for you. Oh, it was. I know what game it was. Yeah, it was the Ravens game. No, it wasn't the Ravens game. It was that one. Oh, yes. Anyway, 
If Macy wins, Tommy has to wear a Patrick Mahomes jersey. If Tommy wins, Macy has to eat ham. Both these will be done on camera, by the way, for the content. I will send you. You gonna you might that Sunday? You might as well just no. Never mind. No, we'll do it Tuesday, so that way she can see it hmm. and make fun of you live for it. Come hate. I God, I gotta pick to not lose. You will be picking against her. What does that mean? I have to pick not to lose. So you two have to differ on every pick? I had to pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Okay. I already have my picks. So and we will alternate between people, by the way. So. <clears throat> thank I you. Have my picks. I will be doing it. Can Macy, you read that? You... Can yeah, you read my able... handwriting? Yeah, I can read that. I can't read shit on that paper. Macy, we'll... now, for this, uh, we were doing how many NFL games? Four? We're only doing three. Three? Three. I thought we were doing four. No, we're only doing three. I had four written down. We had three. We have three. We're only doing three. So we're did doing you all the con- write down the college basketball game? No. Okay. Mm. Do we really it's, have uh, to do college basketball when we're doing this many games in college football? Well, because that'll be a fourth uh, game for her to do. Bama Gonzaga. Bama Gonzaga. There's, There's no, no line yet. Just do a pickup for that one. Anyway, Macy, will you be doing college football just to have some variety in there? I guess. Bigger spread. All right. Macy is in for college football picks for the first time. Holy cow. P.S. Don't really care about college football and have no idea on what's going on in college football. No, that's fine. Me and Tommy can, or at least I will attempt to lead you through this. Uh, uh, no, uh, you cannot help her. I'll just pick who I want to pick. Whoever has the prettiest can, name, I'll pick. You cannot help her. <laughs> Cannot help her at all. She knows nothing about college Don't football, care. Tommy. That's fine. The first game we're doing for the Conference USA Championship. The Western Kentucky Hilltoppers take on the University of Texas San Antonio Roadrunners in the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. The Hilltoppers are a one-point favorite. It's the wrong team favorite, sir. Doom. I'll take UTSA. UTSA is eleven and one this year. Western Kentucky is, I think, nine and three. I didn't write down their records, so give me the phone. I can. I must. I need confirmation upon this. Conference USA. UTSA is probably not ranked anymore because I lost. No, they're not. Go figure. That sucks. Uh, they are eight and four. Eight and four. What the hell? Western Kentucky jumped to a two now. What a two? Yeah. Okay. They're a two-point favorite. They are the highest-scoring team in Conference USA. Let's see. You already picked. I'll take University of T- San Antonio. Wait. Is it University of Texas, Texas San Antonio. San Antonio. Okay. Meet, meet. He's going for Roadrunners. Macy, who do you have? Kentucky. Western you know, Kentucky. Western Kentucky. She's going with the Hilltoppers. I got UTSA. They are at home and by far probably the best team outside of maybe three other mm. Power 5 teams, or group of five teams when it comes to ability. Next game on the list is the Pac-12 championship mm. game. Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. See what Oregon. I See what I did right there? Oregon versus Utah in Arrowhead West in Las Vegas. Hmm. The Utes are a three-point favorite. They beat Oregon last time. Macy, who do you have? Who is there? Oregon and Oregon Utah. Oregon Ducks versus the Utah Utes. Oregon? Have they announced what uniforms they're wearing for this game? No. But I'd assume Utah's probably going with their red on red on red. And Oregon will so go with something the ugly. So they're going to be the Chiefs. Yes. <laughs> Oregon. All right, Macy's got the Ducks. Tommy. Hmm, I won't make the same mistake twice. <laughs> going with Utah? Yep. All right, I will say in the Pac-12 you know what, championship. Here's, here's what one thing I hate about the Pac-12. Hmm. They cock block each other from going to the playoff. Uh, I will also say this about the Pac-12 championship before I get my pick. Oregon has won it the last two <laughs> years against Utah in the Pac-12 championship. It's hard to beat a team, team three times in a row. That's why I'm going with Utah. I've been on them this entire time. Up next is the Big 12 championship game in Arlington, Texas. Jerry World. As the Baylor Bears take on the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Oklahoma State is a five and a half point favorite. Tommy, who do you got? Tickets are going as low as $68. Hmm. 
for this game. Well, we're not going. Uh, I know, but still, I'm just looking. I need to also mark. Who's she's, got always who. tri- she's always trying. She's always triangles. I know who. I know who's who. Mm. Okay, that's an A, but all right. It's whatever. A for awesome. Yeah, for about ready to a for about ready to get annihilated. A for it's about ready to football. eat. Leave the heck alone. Oh, um, let's see. You damn heck. Oregon versus or er, Oregon. Oklahoma. Baylor versus Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's a five and a half point favorite. Yes. The last time these two met, it was not very close. I got Oklahoma State. All right, Tommy is Oklahoma <sighs> State. Macy. Winner of this, if Oklahoma State wins this, more than likely they're in the college football playoff. I guess Oklahoma. All right, Macy's going Oklahoma State. MAC championship game, Tommy. It's Maction, baby! Maction! Such a good matchup, too, for Maction. At none other. It is a hard one for us to pick. For you and me to pick, by the way. No, I know who I'm picking. At none other than Ford Field. And beautiful. It's going to be sold out, too. Beautiful. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Not yes, it with is. these yes, two is. teams. It really isn't. In beautiful Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan, the Kent State Golden Flashes take on the Northern Illinois Huskies. Tommy, who do you got? Well, let's see. It looks like Kent State just came off of a dramatic win in overtime against Miami of Ohio. And they mm. beat Northern Illinois earlier in the season. Mm-hmm. Which is why they are favored. Which is why they are favored by... Two and a half. Two and a half. Three points now, actually. What, what, we're sticking with a two and a half. Oh, let's see. Can I pick? Yeah, I'm Macy. taking too long. I say Illinois. All right. Macy is going to Northern Illinois. Tommy? I'll go Kent State. And I'm going with the Huskies. I have been a fan of Northern Illinois for a while now. Mountain West Championship... Utah State taking on number 19, San Diego State, the Aggies of Utah State, versus the Aztecs of San Diego State. Tommy, who do you got? San Diego State. All right. Macy, who do you have? Aggies. All right. She's going Utah State. Sunbelt Championship time. We have not done a Sunbelt game yet this year, Tommy. I think this is actually our first game in the Sunbelt. Our first soiree, some could say, into the Sunbelt. Oh, okay. Right, as you're just, no, okay. no, as just Appalachian stop. State Mountaineers head to Lafayette, Louisiana to take on the raging Cajuns of Louisiana, Lafayette. Tommy, the Mountaineers are actually favored in this one. Are you going to go against your home away from home state? Well, let's see. I believe UL's, uh, the raging Cajuns head coach has taken the head coaching job of Florida, which we yes. forgot to say. Yes. So yes. that's probably the reason why. With that, hmm. I think I'll take. I'll go with App State. You know, All right. you know why? Because probably. I mean, I think it's because of how their history, them knocking off Michigan, and they've just been really good. And they've just been, you know, staying down the road. Macy. Where am I going? Appalachian State versus Louisiana. I'll take Louisiana. All righty. Interesting pick there by Macy. Could she be trying to get into Tommy's head there by picking his home state? SEC Championship game, number one, Georgia Bulldogs versus number three, Alabama Crimson Tide. Who, what? You should already know who I'm picking. Gonzaga? Number one, Georgia versus number three, Alabama. Uh, okay. This is still football. Brock, you already know who I'm picking. Uh, you know who I'm picking. Georgia. Uh, all right, we are all on the Bulldogs. Georgia, Georgia. Dell went down to Georgia, and mm. man, he has made a heck of a deal with them. American Athletic Conference Championship game, number 21 Houston versus number four Cincinnati at Nippert Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. The Cougars come in 11 and 1, the Bearcats undefeated. Tommy, you know what's a funny thing? Is that that's going to be the only team from Ohio to make the playoff. So, Tommy is going with Cincinnati. No surprise there. You all know my feelings on who's going to win this game. I hate Houston for what they did to SMU, as they pretty much put the Mustangs on a tailspin this year. Macy. I'll just go with a different team. 
She's going to go with the Cougars from Houston. Hmm. Go figure. Macy going with the Cougars. I'm not even... <laughs> What? What is that even? <laughs> what is that That's supposed so, to be? That makes no sense, but okay. Big Ten Championship game. Number two, Michigan Wolverines versus the number 13, Iowa Hawkeyes. If Michigan wins, they go to the college football playoff. This if they first lose... first Big Ten Championship, by the way. This is their first Big Ten Championship. If they lose, then somehow... They're going to go to the Rose Bowl. No, because that means I was going to the Rose Bowl. If Michigan loses, mm. then somehow oh, yeah. Notre Dame has snuck in to the college football playoff. Unless Oklahoma State wins, then. Well, no, because then if Bama wins or Bama loses. Oh yeah, mm, yeah. Tommy, I like chaos, but I don't like the chaos where Notre Dame gets in. I'm going with Michigan. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Iowa. Macy is going she with the Hawkeyes. Chaos. <laughs> chaos. ACC championship game, the Pitt Panthers versus the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Everybody knows who I am going with. I'm going with those go damn with- Deacons from North Kakalaki. I'll go with Wake. I saw their last game. So. Oh, all right then. Tommy? I actually watched one for a I actually will have to go with Big Force as well. Are you sure you want to do that? Hmm. Pitt is a three-point favorite. Pitt is a three-point favorite and the higher-ranked team. And they beat Clemson while Wake Force lost to Clemson. A little Pitt. Why right. not? Screw it. Tommy's Pitt. going Pitt. Remember, all these games count towards the total... For Better who? not have the same picks as me for NFL. I'm be so mad. And now it's time for the NCAA college game, Alabama and Gonzaga. I'll Tommy take Gonzaga is going Gonzaga. Macy, who are you going with? Bama versus Gonzaga in basketball. Oh, in basketball. Mm-hmm. What, when is that game? Saturday. Um, yes. <sighs> yes, it is. What is Dude, that? that's an awesome name for that game. Hmm. Battle in Seattle. Yeah, so you said you're going with he said Gonzaga. Gonzaga. Macy? I loathe Bama. Well, this is basketball. This isn't football. I know, but I have to pick different from you. So Macy will be going with Alabama in the Battle for Seattle. Or Battle in Seattle. Battle in Seattle. I thought it was the Battle for Seattle. That would have been much better. Dude, that's so much better. That's what Gonzaga versus u-dub should be all right it's time for the stuff that ti- that macy really knows it's time for the n f l i wouldn't say really knows but well you know it better than college how about that yeah the first game the chargers of los angeles california travel to the concrete jungle God, of Cincinnati, Ohio. You had a missed opportunity to just to say screw it and just call them San Diego. Uh, no. As screw the, you, Spanos. As the Bengals of Cincinnati look to defend their territory as the Chargers come. God, we better get that game Sunday. Limping in. Bengals. Macy is going Bengals. Tommy? They look really good against the Steelers. But you can't have the same picks as her. So I'll take the charges. And because it doesn't matter for me, I'm going Bengals. That's what I like about this. I swear to God. (laughs) Sunday night football. I already know who Macy's going with. The Chiefs, a 10-point favorite. Remember, point favorites do matter in these games in the NFL. Tommy (laughs) has the Broncos. Macy has the Chiefs. I'm going to tell you this now. They're not winning by 10. Just throwing that out there. Okay, no one said that they were going to win by 10. Did I say that? No, I didn't. Here's my only thing to that. Teddy Bridgewater is most likely not going to play this game, meaning Drew Locke is playing. Ah, you got to be joking. I got my last one. As much as I love Drew Locke, the former Tiger, I got my last he's one. coming home to Kansas City. He played at least some at high school. I played against him. He played for Missouri. 
as well. Played for Missouri. I already mentioned that. I played against him in high school, but I have to go with the Chiefs on this one, Tommy. I just don't see. They're not winning by 10, though. They're not. They're just straight. With Drew Locke at quarterback? No one said that they were. Well, crankety-yankety. You have to for this. You have to. Anyway, the main event. Thank God that this game is Monday night. The New England Patriots, who are in first place of the AFC East. Is this their first time playing each other, or is this the last time? It's the first other? time that these two teams have touched each other this year. Bills. The Bills are at home defending Buffalo, looking to retake the AFC East lead against Bill Belichick and his evil empire of Patriots coming from New England from the south. I got Bills. Macy has the Bills. Tommy, who do you have? Man, that's suit. He's looking really good. Okay. I know what that means. Tommy is going with the Patriots. Man the suit. And as much as I hate to say it, Tommy. Are you picking the Bills? No. Are you kidding me? I am inclined to agree with you on the Patriots winning. I don't think you understand how dangerous the Patriots are right now. I'm going with the picks that I got. So, so to review the picks, and goddamn, are there a lot of them? I mean, that game should be really interesting. Conference USA, Western Kentucky, UTSA. Macy has Western Kentucky. Me and Tommy have UTSA. Pac-12 Championship Part Three, Electric Boogaloo. Is this is the third time? No, the, this for this season. It's Part Two, Electric Boogaloo. Third time with these two. Third straight year, these two teams have met each other in the Pac-12 Championship game. Macy has Oregon. Me and Tommy have Utah. Big Twelve Championship game. We all have Oklahoma State for different reasons. However, <laughs> MAC Championship. Kent. Nope. She has Oklahoma State for a different reason. We both have Oklahoma State for the same reason. Chaos! MAC championship game, Kent State versus Northern Illinois. Tommy has the golden flashes from Kent, Ohio. Me and Macy are going with the boys from Duluth, or DeKalb, Illinois. Duluth, Illinois? DeKalb. Duluth, Minnesota is who I'm thinking of. That's Northern Minnesota. DeKalb, Illinois. Those Huskies. In the Mountain West Championship game, Macy has my second favorite college team, the Aggies of Utah State. Meanwhile, me and Tommy have the Aztecs of San Diego State. This game is being played in a college or is being played in a soccer stadium. Ooh, wait, really? That's where San Diego State plays. <laughs> at Dignity Health Sports Park, where the Chargers Can played I, all I their can games. Look this up to confirm that. You can. And you're right. Would you look at that? Carson, California. Yep, that's nowhere near San Diego. Tickets are as low as sixteen dollars. Yeah, parking's a hundred though. <laughs> Sun Belt Championship game. What? Appalachian State versus Louisiana <laughs> Lafayette. You sound like a progressive commercial. <laughs> Yes. These two are bickering back and forth. <laughs> the tension is high here at BTT headquarters. Sun Belt Championship, Appalachian State Mountaineers versus the Raging Cajuns of Louisiana Lafayette. Me and Tommy are going with the Mountaineers. Me because, well, that's Coach Eli Drinkowitz's former school. Macy is going with Tommy's home state of Louisiana for that win. Chaos. SEC Championship game. We all have Georgia. It's as simple as that. American Conference Championship game. Me and Tommy have the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Macy wants everyone's fun to be ruined, and it's gone with the Cougars of Houston. I'm the fun ruiner. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. If that actually happens, we're killing you. you. We are you. killing you. Hey, you have the blue card. I will. Big Ten Championship game. Michigan versus Iowa. Me and Tommy are going with Michigan. Macy is going with Iowa. ACC Championship game. Tommy has gone with Pittsburgh. Me and Macy have gone with the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. Los Angeles Chargers at Cincinnati Bengals. Tommy, for some reason, he's been burned by the... Tommy, for some reason, has picked (laughs) the Chargers. That made no sense. (laughs) That made absolutely no sense. Sorry. (laughs) Tommy, for some reason, has gone with the Chargers who have burned him four times this year. Swear to God. That happens for a fifth time. I'm going to be so pissed. Me and Macy have gone with the Bengals. Just to let all of you know, 
I have only gotten one Bengals pick wrong this year. I think we all have. No, you've gotten more than that wrong. No, that's right. <laughs> so I have the best record when it comes to picking the Bengals, and Macy has gone with me. What's my best? What's the best? What's the best record I have for any team? Is it old? It has to be Ole Miss. It is. It's, it's Ole Miss. It's in general. It's in general. Ole Not Miss. in NFL or college football. Just in general, it's Ole Miss. The team Macy is the strongest at picking. The Chiefs are taking Besides on the Broncos. No, even then, you're still the strongest at it. I thought you picked. The- I did pick they the s- Packers. No, 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 no. She like. No, you still picked the Chiefs. No, I didn't. Yes, you picked the Packers, but they beat the total. Oh, okay. So when it comes to Chiefs games... Oh my god, that's right. They- comes to Chiefs games, Macy has the best track record of winning those picks. Macy has gone with the Chiefs. I have gone with the Chiefs, the team I am the worst at picking this year. Don't. So, there's that. And Tommy has the Broncos... The team he has the second worst track record of picking games with this year. Picking out all the stops. I got a feeling that they're not going to lose by 10. Monday night football. New England Patriots at Buffalo Bills. Three-point line. Me and Tommy have gone with the Evil Empire. I am perfect when picking Patriots games this year. We shall see. Macy is 0-1 this year, or 0-2 this year, picking Bills games as she picked the Bills to beat the Chiefs, or she picked the Chiefs to beat the Bills and picked the Bills to beat the Colts. She has gone with the Bills. So things are looking up for Tommy as he has gone with the Bill or gone with the Patriots. And finally, college basketball, Gonzaga versus Bama. Me and Tommy are 0-1 when picking Gonzaga to win games this year. I'm going to be honest, I don't care that I lost that pick. It was a really damn good game. It was. And Macy has gone with the team that she hates in Alabama. This is her first time picking college basketball. Yeah, but I only had to pick Alabama because we had to differ. You two bicker for a bit here, and I will tally up the amount of games that you two differ on. A lot. Well, bicker between each other. You royally, Talk some crap. You royally messed up by picking Alabama. I'm just throwing that out there. I know. You think I want to? You think I sat there and I was like, hmm, No, it's a good thing I picked first. Let, let, me, let, me, let me pick Alabama here. <laughs> let me royally screw myself over. <laughs> Tommy, you should let me paint your nails instead. Why? No. Instead of wearing no, the Chiefs jersey. I'm not, no, I'm not letting you touch my hands at all. Out of the 14 games that we have picked, Tommy and Macy differ in a grand total of 12 games. Really? 12. The only ones that they agree on. Oklahoma State beating Baylor and Georgia beating Alabama. Before we do the final plugs, any final words that you two would like to say to each other going into the battle for the B-Card Heavyweight Championship, Tommy loses. He wears a Mahomes jersey for an entire day and has it recorded on camera as we go out in public to do so. If Macy loses, she has to eat ham of Tommy's choosing on camera. It's holiday ham. Eat holiday ham on camera. How, how much many? does she have to eat of it? Yeah, how many pieces of ham? Sam- she has to eat a ham sandwich. Okay, what? A ham sandwich! That's it? A ham sandwich like, versus a cheese the jersey? Hol- like the ho- I mean, like, I don't know. I'm would thinking poundage-wise. Would, would it be a good... How, how much? A pound of ham. Uh, just a no, pound of a ham? pound? Yes. I cannot eat a pound of anything. Okay, well... A half pound. A half pound of ham. How much is a half pound of ham? That's a good question. I might go it's... to holiday hams. I might go to the hall. I might go to the store tomorrow and find out. Any last two so, words? Like, are bef- we talking about like sandwich ham or like? No, like, like the, actually. You ever seen a holiday ham? Cut, yeah, but I don't. That kind it's of that. Ham. It's that ham. Okay. Any final words that you would like to say to each other before we go off and I do my final plugs? Don't worry, <laughs> Daddy's gonna come home and get you. <laughs> uh... Macy, you are the current. B card heavyweight champion. Could your reign last less than a week? Most likely. <laughs> I suck at life, so. 
However, when it comes to pick, you have beaten Tommy all but one week. Hmm. So that is not really in Tommy's favor. I know. And the However, cool. the only week that you have lost to him was last week. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You finished at the top. <laughs> Tommy finished at the top of the picks last week. I finished in the middle, and Macy was at the bottom. Tough scene. You Tough picked, scene. Tough you scene. picked the Colts. That's very strong words for Tough someone scene. who I've only lost to you once in one week. Eh. Woman knows her football. Not underestimating that. I mean, you do, but <laughs> not this week. You're going to look super cute in that little jersey over there. And I think that has been all for this week of Big Time Talkers. Final plugs, as always. Go follow our Twitter account, at BCardYT, on Twitter. You'll find all the interesting updates of the scores and everything. Dude, I'm craving holiday ham now. I'm craving it. I'm craving it. I want it. (laughs) You freaking maniac. As I was saying, you can catch up on the live (laughs) reactions and live standings as they come in there for this monumental occasion here. Twelve differential picks between the two of them. You can also find any updates from all the programs here on B-Card Entertainment. Go listen to We Are Not Entertained. The last two weeks have been just me and Tommy Haley, but you know what? That is, f- it's been without just Tommy been you. Haley. Just been you. And Bandit. Bandit was on this week. I had him as a surprise guest. He came up, he sniffed the microphone, he licked it, uh, he he breathed into it. <laughs> Wise uh, words from yes. a dog. <laughs> this up- Sounded like some very controversial words, oh, if I do say oh, so myself. Yes, he... He said some of the most crazy things I've ever heard, such as uh, there should be no lockups in wrestling. It's the most heinous thing I've ever heard him say. Right, right. Meanwhile, no, this wait, upcoming wait, 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 episode of... Wait, hold on. What? Oh my god. That's hella controversial. <laughs> Tommy just listened to it. This week on... We are not entertained. Me and Tommy We're going to watch Heels! We're going to watch the first episode of Heels from Stars. Brock, I... felt, Brock, felt, Brock felt, felt so disgusted that he didn't want to watch a good show without me, which I hella respect. Yes, uh, so we will be doing that. Also, Tommy, I can finally announce the name of the documentary that me and you have been working on. No? Yes, because I have episode one done. Hmm. Episode one has been finished. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a labor of love for three months now. The Phantom Minute. I'm just kidding. No. (laughs) It has been a project that me and Tommy have talked about doing since probably even when we were in high school. I wouldn't say high school, but maybe... Senior year. Maybe senior year? Yeah. It is finally happening. I can reveal the name now. The Rise and Fall of the Blue October. A deep dive into the Kansas City Royals from the years 2010 until present day 2021. Tommy, mind telling the people what the uh, (coughs) your thought was when I first sent you the rough draft of the script that was 10 pages long. Uh, Whoa! (laughs) This is like whoa. That's all I have to say. He has gotten some sneak previews of the editing process of what I have put together, and Tommy, your thoughts on that one as well. Whoa. It's it's pretty good, folks. Whoa. When me and Tommy put our heads together, it becomes Great something special. Great minds always think alike. Well, you know, we've had to do it for 11 years. Unless this dumbass's brain decides not to work. He's talking about himself, as by the way, which is key. Uh, this has been episode 23, which means Tommy... In two weeks' two time. Weeks, two weeks. Two weeks' time, Macy. What are we doing for it? Good we'll question. We'll be doing what our doing top for five favorite moments of BTT. But what is our top five for next week, though? Our top five for next week is top five favorite n- still alive non-domesticated animals. 
So he means like not dinosaurs because we'll do a we'll do a yeah. top non prehistoric. We'll do a top five like a couple weeks down the road. At some point, maybe a few months during the dog days of summer. Mm. Maybe during maybe, the dog days of winter. You know when we watch some nature documentary or some documentary and review it here on the podcast, mm. just for content because why summer? That's when baseball is happening. Yes, do you want to give updates of every single score that happens every single day during no, that? No, not really, but... Exactly. That's why I say during the summer or spring. Mm. But other than that, anyone else have anything that they would like to plug? Yes. Okay, mm. Macy. Bing bong. <laughs> Macy actually has something. Macy, go ahead. Um, If you're really into League of Legends, um, you should really go watch... The League of Legends Arcane show is very good. Highly recommend. If you like watching weird people in New York, go watch Side Talk NYC. <laughs> uh, you might have to bleep this out. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> Neither one of us are making it in. Yes, they are. Le- leave that in. Leave it in. Why is mine not making it in? Bing bong. Neither is his. Bing Why? bong. Leave that in. Why? Because y'all are going to do a separate podcast on the review of that show when he finishes it. What? Arcane? Arcane? Mm-hmm. No. 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 Why? No. Why? No. Because no. I'd rather go talk to my boyfriend about that. Oh, okay. Well. I feel like I'd rather go talk to the people that actually watch it at work. Talk to it with them. That hey. is so rude because I recommended it to you first. Right, and then someone re- and then I forgot about that, and then someone re-recommended it to me at work, so. He's such a jackass. Never mind, that's staying in now. Because of that little blow up there. Other than that, this has been the 23rd edition of Big Time Talkers. We have some uh, promotional fight pictures to go take no. for yeah. this. Uh, I've been Brock Orton. I've been Tommy Haley. I'm AC Shear. The current B card heavyweight champion. However, Tommy is really eyeing that title right now. Like a vulture stalking its prey. And I think Macy is the poor, wounded baby antelope that he has in his sights. More like a pedophile trying to get a kid. <laughs> All right, then. On that note, until when, or until Monday with We Are Not Entertained, have a great rest of your week, folks. Why did you say that? <laughs> Why did you say that? And also, uh, wish me luck, I have an interview. By the time this is over, I will have already had it. Oh yeah, that's right, good luck. Yay, Brock. Bye. Bye. Bing bong. <laughs>